Alléluia, 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 Amen. He is the King of Kings, Alléluia, Amen. He is the King of Kings, Alléluia, Amen. He is the Bread of Life, Alléluia. The breath of life. Alleluia. Hosanna. Hosanna. Alleluia. Hosanna. Amen. Hosanna. 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 Hosanna, Amen. Yo is alive, Yoshua. He is alive, Yoshua. He is the door. He is the door of the sheep. you all your shrine he, he gave his blood for you he, he bought you back he bought you back with his blood he bought you back Hosanna Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for your time. Thank you, Lord, for your word. In Yoshua's name, amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I just want to, to share uh, a verse, uh, maybe more than a verse, <laughs> two or three verse, and then we go from there, okay? So it's uh, in 1 Thessalonians. Chapter 5, uh, we can start at verse 1. So, he said here, But of the times and the seasons, brothers, you have no need that I write unto you. For yourselves know perfectly that the day of the Lord so comes as a thief in the night. For when they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction comes upon them, as travel upon a woman with child, and they shall not escape. But you, brothers, are not in darkness that that day should overtake you as a thief. You are all the children of light and the children of the day. We are not of the night nor of the darkness. Therefore, let us not sleep as do others, but let us watch and be sober. For they that sleep sleep in the night, and they that be drunken are drunken in the night. But let us, we who are of the day, be sober, putting on the breastplate of faith and love, and for an helmet the hope of salvation. For Elohim has not appointed us to wrath, but to obtain salvation 
by our Lord Yoshua Mashiach. He died for us that whether we wake or sleep, we should live together with him. Therefore, comfort yourselves together and edify one another, even as also you do. And we beseech you, brothers, to know them which labor among you and are over you in the Lord and admonish you, and to esteem them very highly in love for their work's sake, and be at peace among yourselves. Now we exhort you, brothers, one them that are unruly, comfort the feeble-minded, support the weak, be patient toward all men. See that none render evil for evil unto any man, but ever follow that which is good, both among yourselves and to all men. Rejoice evermore, pray without ceasing. In everything give thanks, for this is the will of Elohim in Christ Jesus concerning you. Quench not the spirit, despise not prophesying, prophecies, prove all things, hold fast that which is good, abstain from all appearance of evil, and the very Elohim of peace sanctify you wholly, wholly. and I pray Elohim your all spirit and soul and body be preserved blameless unto the coming of our Lord Yoshua Mashiach. Faithful is he that calls you, who also will do it. Brothers, pray for us. Amen. Amen. Okay, so this is uh, the, the last chapter of the book of Thessalonians. Well, the first book of Thessalonians. And if you go also in, in chapter 4, is uh, talking about uh, um, uh, that uh, Jesus, uh, Joshua died and rose again, and uh, also that uh, uh, the one who sleeps uh, will also rise again, and um, and then at um, at uh, chapter five. He, he comes with a conclusion to to ask us to uh, to be prepared for his his coming, and also that we are not uh, in darkness, and that that day, the day of the rapture, the day of his second coming, is not something that we are astonished about because. We are from the, the light and because we are not in darkness, we will not be surprised, surprised as when the thief comes into the night because the, the Lord said that he will come as a thief. Of course, he's not a thief, but you, we know that thieves, they come when people sleep and they come when people sleep, when they, they don't guard themselves they don't uh, uh they, they, they they are asleep in, in in the in the night and you know that the jew the jews and even the romans they had uh the night was not like uh for, for them uh, the night was eight hours but they that night that eight hours were uh uh divided in uh uh, several times of uh, several vigil times because when you do a vigil and they, 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 they were guards in the Roman Empire or even when the Jews they had their temple and everything you, you have uh, the start of the night will be from 8 p.m. to midnight and then from midnight to uh, uh, 2 or 3 p.m. Oh, uh, 3 a.m. Oh and then from 3 a.m. 2 a.m. Oh to 4 and then from 4 
to I know how to so you see the Romans I think they had like four vigils and the Jews they have they had four vigils and Let's get he said that when the Lord is saying you don't know when the Lord the, the, the day the day of the Lord will come it will come and overtake you as you see. Uh, because you don't know if it will be the first, it will come at the first beat, the second beat. See? And, um... Mama Bessie, can you, can you mute your, your mic, please? Bessie, can you mute your mic, if you can hear me? Thank you. Okay, it's okay, I did it. So, and you don't know when it will come, but we know that the, 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 the darkness were the most strongest during the night, during that third vigil, third or fourth, uh, third or second vigil, when it was around midnight, after midnight. And if you, if you look uh, at uh, how spiritual things work, a lot of time uh, uh, people who are witchcrafts or people who are who are uh, doing bad things with uh, worshiping dev the devil or, or or working for the enemy they they love to do things during that night during the night during darkness when people are asleep they gather together to do uh, uh, bad things or or, or or to do their witchcraft and even even in the world you can see that it's during the night that people go outside to have a drink to uh to uh to do fornication and to to do a lot of bad stuff because darkness is is is, is a place is, is 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 a place where people can uh do things they think they can do things without people watching okay and that's why they do bad things at that time and we know that we are in the middle of this darkness because the the there is three clocks that the lord has put in this world that we can look into to know what time is it that's why the lord say, is saying you are not of the darkness to not know what time is it okay we are not uh because he's saying for those that sleep sleep at in the night but we are of the day and we have put a breastplate of faith and love. So he's talking here about also the armor of the Christian. But there are these three clocks that the Lord has put for us to understand what time is it in the agenda of the Lord. Because you know the Lord is not... Uh, 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 um, uh, um, is not late in his agenda. He has determined in his own authority a time for everything. He has determined in his own authority a time where he will come back, a time where the nations will be judged, a time where Satan will be, will be put into a pit for 1,000 years. He has determined a time of the first resurrection. And then there is a time for the second resurrection. There is a time... <laughs> Hallelujah! So there is a time for everything and the Lord has determined in his own authority that time. We don't know it. Uh, that's not the point. We don't need to know the exact time, the exact hour, but we have signs. Hallelujah. And the Lord has given those signs also to the disciples. A nation will uh, wage war against another nation. We see uh, today that a lot of nations are at war uh, uh you, you, there is a, 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 a two main examples for now that we are living russia against ukraine but behind ukraine there is nato uh there is also the problem and uh, the the ongoing uh, uh problem that we see with israel and palestine and we know that there are other countries also behind that so nations are at war against another a nation against another we we see those those things we see also that 
uh, one of the main signs also that the, the Lord was speaking about in Matthew 24. He was saying that uh, at that time, the, the love of many will uh, uh, grow cold. And we see that uh, in the churches today. Hallelujah. Uh, and so these three clocks that the Lord has given us are first, the first clock is Israel. Because we have to look at Israel as a clock in this world. He a, a lot of prophecies have come true for Israel. And we know that uh, Israel uh, and the, 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 the things that are happening over there are also a clock for us. Because we know that a third temple will be built. We know that Israel was a long time without a nation. The, the Israelites, the, the Jews were a long time, uh, uh, almost uh, 2,000 years without a nation. And, and in one day, and what, that's one also of, of the prophecies of, uh, 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 of, um, that we can see in the Bible. A nation can be born in one day, and in one day, in, uh, uh, after the declaration of Balfour, Israel uh, was made again as a nation. In 1948 uh, also we see also another church is the nations uh, like we, we talked about uh, the fact that there is uh, the time of nations since uh, <clears throat> uh, uh, since we the th there was the the Babylonian uh, Nebuchadnezzar uh, took Israel uh, the in uh, 1600 before I think 15 no 1600 before Christ uh, <clears throat> it was the first deportation and the time of nation started that day uh, the Lord the, the glory of the Lord like uh, like um, Ezekiel is, is, is talking about the glory of the Lord uh, came out of the temple the first temple and the temple was destroyed the first temple was destroyed <clears throat> and at that time the glory of the Lord went away from uh, Israel because Israel was a, te a, a theocratia uh, it means it, it, the, the, the Lord was the king of this kingdom even though they are the king they, 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 they was anointed by the Lord Hallelujah. and now we see that we we are still in this time of nations. That's why we see nations and we see that uh, uh, like it was prophesied to uh, Daniel. Uh, I mean, the king Nebuchadnezzar had a dream. He saw four kingdoms and Daniel explained to him what was his, his, uh, his, his dream. And the Lord was talking about the time of nation and... Uh, if you if if you take a time to 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 read uh, Daniel two Daniel seven Daniel nine I think you will see that he's explaining uh, uh, that after him there will be another nation uh, and we know that the the Persian and the and the Me the Medes uh, uh, overthrown the uh, the empire of Babylon and then. There was another empire, and we know that it was Alexander the Great with the Greeks. And, and then after the Greeks came another empire that is much different than the other ones. And it's the Roman Empire. And the Roman Empire uh, was wounded in 475 after Christ. Uh, it was wounded because... Uh, 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 the the uh, the the occidental part the, the I will say the the western part of that empire fa fall down to the barbarian empire uh, to the barbarian invasion from uh, 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 if you if you and we all uh, normally have heard of this story when we were at school or even uh, when you we you were looking into it yourself so but today there is also daniel was talking about that this empire 
and also John will see it in the book of Revelation we'll see that this empire the Roman Empire will rise again at the end another form of this empire and we see that with the European community and as you can see Europe is gaining more and more power uh, and uh, we know that there will be an anti-Christ, an anti-Mashia who will come into power and it will rule over the world, okay? And people will worship him because it's the anti-Mashia, okay? And um, so that's another clock. And we know that the third clock is the church. We are the light of the world. We are the salt of the world. And uh, let's go to, thank you, Lord, to the book of Revelation, <clears throat> Revelation 3. The Lord is talking about seven church. He, he, he will talk to seven church. We know that in the book of, of Revelation, uh, John will receive a vision when he was, he was at Patmos. And in that vision, he will see seven churches. And among those seven churches, only two were faithful. Philadelphia and Smyrna. Okay, and the other five, the Lord had some things to, to tell them and ask them to repent. And we know that the last church, the, the church of Laodiceans, is the one that is the last one. Uh, before his coming. And this church has put the Mashiach out of, of, uh, of this church. Because in, in, uh, in uh, Revelation 3.20, uh, he's saying, Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If any man hear my voice and open the door, I will come into him and I will sup with him and he with me. So we see here that this church uh, had, um, had put the Mashiach outside because of the filthiness that she had. Because she said she was rich, she, she, she increased with goods, she needed nothing. She, uh, but the Lord saying to her that you are wretched, miserable in, in verse 17 and poor and blind and naked. So you see here that this church is so full of ourselves, of our glory, of our um, money, of our riches, that she doesn't need the, the Lord anymore because she's worshiping something else. She's worshipping mammon. She's worshipping uh, money. And that's the church that we see today. The visible church that we see today is that church. And she's lukewarm. And because of that, the Lord will spew, will vomit her from, the, from his mouth. Hallelujah. So, this clock shows us that the Lord is at the door. And also, He's asking us to, co to, to, to get out of, hallelujah, of Babylon. Amen. So, I think it's Revelation 19.4. I think it's 19.4. Four or eighteen four. Uh, it's 
And I heard another voice from heaven saying, Come out of her, my people, that you be not partakers of her sins, and that you receive not of her plagues. For her sins have reached unto heaven, and Elohim has remembered her iniquities. So he's talking here about the judgment against Babylon. And we know that this Babylon is... A, a, a political system, a religious system that is controlling uh, the world. As Joshua, as his bride, and Joshua has his church, at the same time, the anti Mashia, sent by Satan, has also his bride. And that's Babylon. He has also his church. And that's the, the synagogue of Satan. Hallelujah. And he's using this uh, false church. Those false ministries. To, to, uh, to, um, to confuse people confuse them and to um, to let them astray because he wants to destroy and kill Christians and Jews because he is full of hatred like the Bible says he, he was not winning he wanted to to kill that that uh, that child that came from from the woman and it's the Messiah, and it's also in Revelation, and he couldn't kill the child, and then he, he was full of anger, and he went to, to, to wage war against uh, uh, the prosperity of that woman and his kids. Hallelujah. So, <clears throat> and when I was reading the book of 1 Thessalonians, Thessalonian in chapter 5 uh, after that uh, um, exhortation that Paul had he, he was saying things that were so important for us to know and that every Christian has to know first of all that we are of the day, that we are not in darkness, okay? Second of all, that we are to be sober, verse 8, putting on the breastplate of faith and love and an helmet, the hope of salvation. Because what makes us different than the others is that we have that hope of salvation. We have that salvation. That, that's why even when things will be difficult when things will start to be we're going to be persecuted because we have that faith of hope we have that breastplate of faith of faith and love we will overcome those situations okay he's asking us not to sleep but to be to watch and be sober okay sober it means not to drink and everything, but also it's to be calm and collected in spirit, to be temperate, dispassionate, circ circumspect. It's, it comes from nepho, and it means those kind of things. Okay, uh, this thing, sorry. So to be sober, to be calm. Hallelujah. And then he's asking us, uh, he, he's saying to us that we don't, we, you are anointed, appointed to uh in, he has not appointed us to wrath because there is a moment that the anger of elohim the 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 wrath of elohim will be on the people we see there is a lot of judgment that will come but we are not appointed to be under the wrath of elohim but we are to obtain salvation hallelujah 
we we have acquired this salvation by our Lord Yoshua Mashiach because he died for us okay and even if we 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 are awake or sleep so here sleep is talking about death even if we are dead or uh, in, uh, alive we should live together with him hallelujah because death of the death of a Christian is not the end of that life. Hallelujah. It's only uh, uh, that's the first death. The first death will it's only the physical death. But our spirit is already like Ephesians 2 says that our spirit is already <laughs> hallelujah with the Lord. Because we are seated on the heavenly, heavenly realms where he is we are. Our spirit is already there. Hallelujah. And he's, he's saying to us to comfort ourselves and edify one another. And we, we need to, to, to exhort ourselves. And that's what we are doing today. To exhort ourselves to, hire, to, uh, to be faithful to the Lord. To, uh, uh, to, um, to encourage one another. To uh, always pray for one another. And that's the key also for us in this time. Hallelujah. And that's why he's, he's, he's telling those, uh, those wise uh, uh, things at the end. And he's, he's, tell, he's telling uh, uh, to, 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 uh, to also uh, um, beseech... The, uh, 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 we beseech you, brothers, to know them which labor among you. So to, to, to consider people who are working among us. That doesn't mean that we have to uh, 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 put them on a, on a pedestal and uh, uh, do everything they said. No, that's not the point because a lot of people use those, those, um, those, um, those verses to, uh, to then make, make slaves of people. Uh, uh, and then you, you become slaves of the pastors or the po apostles. No, it is just asking asking to us to consider those people and to take them in in, in, in esteem. Okay, and um, and then also to warn the brothers to warn those who are unruly uh, to to also. Uh, comfort or exhort, in, encourage the one who are uh, 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 a, a little weak uh, or I will say feeble-minded. Feeble-minded will be uh, that, that they, they are a little bit um, uh, with fear, okay? Uh, uh, to encourage them because it's not an easy time. To support the weak, to be patient toward all men. And... Um, not to 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 um, to give uh, to 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 be evil to uh, any man and not to render evil for evil. And it's not easy. It's not easy today. A lot of people are being evil against one another. Mm? They are, uh, and then. Uh, People say, oh, he's done me evil. I will do him evil. Oh, he doesn't like me. I won't like him. And we are not like this. We have to, 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 to love even our enemy. And he's asking us also to rejoice evermore. So our joy doesn't depend on the circumstances. Our joy doesn't depend because we have received a gift or something or no, our joys depend, uh, depend from the Spirit. Our joy depend from the Spirit. That even uh, uh, um, Paul and Silas, I think it was Silas, even when he, they were in prison, they were beaten, they could sing. How can a man has been beaten uh, 39 uh, um, baton uh, 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 strikes? And is singing in prison because his joy was coming from the Lord. Hallelujah. In everything, give thanks, verse 18, and 
for this is the will of Elohim. So quench not the spirit. Okay? So quench means to extinguish. So we have always to, to keep the spirit alive with our prayers, with uh, our, our sanctification, with, um, with uh, our love for him. Despise not the prophecies. Prove all things, hold fast that which is good. Abstain from all appearance of evil. Hallelujah. And then Elohim uh, will sanct the, 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 the Elohim of peace will sa sanctify you wholly. For that, so that, and he's praying that our spirit, soul, and body be preserved blameless unto the coming of Lord Yeshua Mashiach. And this is one verse that shows that we have a spirit, a soul, and a body. Hallelujah. You can use this verse, for example, also if someone asks you, yeah, but uh, uh, even a pagan is asking you, what is the soul? Uh, uh, oh, I just believe we are just a body. Or I just believe uh, that uh, we are like animals. No. Hallelujah. The Bible says here that we have a spirit, a soul, and a body. Amen. Uh, and faithful is he that calls you who also will do it amen so that's what i wanted to to share with you uh these uh verses that i've read and also tell you that we are of the light and that Yoshua is not far uh tell let us tell our families even if they mock us let us tell our friends our colleagues that Joshua is coming soon. A lot of people, they will mock us because uh, I think even in the book of Peter, she said, oh, uh, since, the, since the world is a world, uh, uh, nothing has changed, where is coming? But uh, the Peter is saying, don't forget that uh, the patience of the Lord is our salvation. And he's patient and he wants to save uh, more the, the most men he can. Hallelujah. Amen. May the Lord bless you. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Thank God. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Uh, we really uh, give glory to our Heavenly Father tonight again for this sharp sharing and very important, very loaded for the spiritual thing concerning our spiritual life, our salvation. Uh, I think it was a very... Uh, I mean, everything in the Bible, that's the word of God, is really important, but everything comes in a due time. And there's a reason why to um the reason why to like hear a particular message in a particular time. Because the Lord is the head of everything, who knows everything, is sovereign. So he knows the ends even before the beginning. Meaning that the message we have listened today, he knew exactly at that time who is going to be connected, who is going to hear that message. And then there is a reason behind. And the reason behind now, each of a, each of us need to listen to his own spirit to see where he's going, you know, where he started with his spiritual life, where he's going right now, and what's happening right now in his spiritual life. So the message we heard today again is to uh, put us in the right frame, you know, the time that we have. We have to look at, you know, the Israelite time and the, 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 the church time, you know, and um, the time we are in now, the, the, the time of the nation where Babylon is really rising up, corrupting everybody and uh, the confusion is on top of everything. The misleading 
is there. And then again, the brother said, we have to keep our eyes on the word of God, telling us in Revelation 18 from verse 4, that now that we know what is Babylon, he has been exposed. He's calling us to get out of Babylon, to come out of Babylon, that corrupt demonic church that is like keeping the or taking most of the children of God astray, you know, redirecting them to another way, which is not the way of the Lord. You know, there is only one way that we know is the way of the Messiah. He is the truth, he is the way, and his life. You know, so the aim of the devil and his devices and the, the devilish church and Babylon that brother was talking about, his job is to grab more and more children of God who are going not to be, you know, awake, not or who are refusing the warning, the sign, the prophecies and all these, and then despising the commandment of Yeshua, um, not eating the world for the spirit, for the soul. Those are going to be weak in their own vessel. And then day by day, week by week, Year after years, they become weak and weak, and then uh, we don't wish, but many will be taken away. And these are the things we really need to keep in our mind. The time that we are going in right now, where is your spiritual growth? Your walk with the Lord, where do you stand? You know, how strong do you think you are in the things of the Lord? How strong do you think your faith is? How strong do you think in your heart, deep down to your soul, that your salvation is by graceful faith? And all these things, you know, we we are sometimes really caught up with the the, the um the clock of this world, and then we, we forget. At some point, our spiritual life, we don't come to ourselves to judge ourselves anymore. We let the world just take all these things away from us. And then in the end, there's no faith. Like I used to say, in any kind of circumstance or situation, your faith will melt like butter. That is where you realize that you are not on the foundation, which is the Messiah. Everything will crumble around you, yourself, you go down. So we thank God for those type of messages, you know, to like reboost us, to bring back our spiritual ear, our spiritual eyes, and the door of our hearts onto the things of our Savior. You know, the Bible just also mentioned that very important passage in the book of Revelation. That church, thinking that it's so rich, thinking that he has no means, he doesn't have any help or whatsoever, thinking that he has arrived, closed his heart completely to the Savior. And now he's out, not only they not only threw him out, and then they close their hearts, which is the door, and then he's out knocking. And that is the grace of our Savior. How kind, how merciful. You know, how patient he is. And this is our position today. Through that message, whatever we are and we have done, which is not honoring our Father, things that we have put in our hearts that have been eating us from deep down, showing us that, yes, we have messed up at some point in our Christian life. We need to come back to ourselves before the Lord, confess, ask for forgiveness. Time are harsh. The devil is working, is is moving, is 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 multiplying his devices. He's at work, you know. He doesn't sleep day and night. He just wants to capture people, capture people, and then destroy them. He's there to kill, to rob, and to destroy. So we thank God tonight again for this message, bringing us back to the right line. It is never late for our father. His arms are always stretched out there for us. 
praise the Lord. So we thank God today again for, for this message, uh, for this message from our brother, brother Eric. And also um, our sister Kaiba gave us a lot of messages there that we can go through to, you know, uh, get more information again. Uh, it's uh, about that teaching that we received today. Amen, amen. You know, remember, no matter what, remember how kind and good our Father is. You know, it's always there. He is always there. He has not told us, he said, the brother said, uh, that we also need him to read 1 Thessalonians uh, chapter 4, the chapter before the chapter he read. And there is a verse in there saying that God has not called us into uncleanness, but unto holiness. You see that? The calling, when God is calling us, when we say we have a calling, when we say I'm a child of God, I heard the voice of God, I belong to God. You know, if you are for the Messiah, Adonai, Yeshua, he has called you, then know that he has called you not into uncleanness, but unto holiness. And those two word, words are very heavy. And cleanness, you have to know what it is. Holiness, you have to know what it is. And that is why it's very important reading the word of God and meditate. Stop some time somewhere and then spend your time just in one verse. To, you will discover a lot. You know? What does it mean, holiness? If you are quarreling constantly, ask yourself, I am being called into holiness. If bitterness is taking your heart, I am being called in holiness. Am I doing that calling? I am on the right way. If I'm not prepared to have patience to bear with people, If I'm always despising prophecy and warnings from others' brethren around me, am I walking towards my holiness or am I walking towards uncleanness? So all these, the Father has put all these in front of us as we seek to obey his commands, we will remain into his will. Or the will of our Lord is to sanctify us and then help us to restrain from from fornication. He said it as well in the same book of the Salutation 4. A mighty word of also hope. He has not appointed us unto wrath but to obtain salvation by the Lord, the Messiah, Adonai, Yeshua, Jesus Christ. So I'm very, I'm very, um, how can I put it, courage tonight again with that, uh, that uh, message and we praise the Lord for that. Amen. Amen. Feel free to also add something. Uh, I can see in the group there, there is a, a sister Lucrez. Hello, Lucrez. Hello, Tonton Bole. Hello, everybody. Hello. Oh, Hello. that's good to hear you. Hello. Hello. Okay. Yeah. Hello Hi. to all the children. Hi. Yeah. Uh, yeah. The Chris so is one of our sisters who live here in. Uh, yeah. She's also here in Birmingham, questions. and uh, she's the wife mm -hmm. of the brother Bercy. 
Okay. All right. Good to see you, good to hear you. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. Is anyone want to add some things else to this teaching today, to this exhortation today? Are we all being edified? Yes, it was. It was good. It was good. Praise the Lord. Mm.